Welcome to lesson five. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about the command line. Now the command line is a text-based program that lets you enter commands to interact with the operating system and run programs. Uh, you might also hear it called the command line interface or CLI. It's also called the command prompt or the terminal or the shell or the console. It has a lot of different names. This is just the alternative to graphical user interfaces or GUIs which allows the user to interact with the computer through more than just a text-based interface. Uh, in a GUI, you'll be able to see files represented as icons, and you can just drag them with the mouse. Uh, usually they'll present a lot more information, and overall this is a much more friendlier way to use a computer. But there's still a good reason that you should re uh, learn how to use the command line as well. Uh, for one, setting up your environment often requires you to use the command line rather than graphical windows, and for another reason, entering commands can be much faster than clicking graphical windows with the mouse, and also the text-based commands are less ambiguous than dragging an icon to some other icon, and this lends it to automation better, because then you can combine multiple specific text commands into your Python programs and have your programs be able to automate several different commands all at once. But the command line can also be somewhat intimidating. I mean, this uh, this doesn't really tell you all that much. It just sort of shows you the current working directory, and then it just expects you to know the commands to type. And if you don't know that off the top of your head, then it can be really hard to, to navigate. I mean, even if I type help, I don't know, does this do something? Oh, whoa, that's, that's a lot of text. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even know where to begin if I was just starting out. But don't worry. In this lesson, we're going to be covering the command line and how you can use it. Now, the command line is different on each of the three major operating systems, but the command line program itself exists in an executable file somewhere on your computer. And in this context, we usually call it the shell or a shell program. And running the shell program is what makes the command line window appear. So you can see on Windows, this is a program located at c slash windows slash system32 cmd.exe. This is the program file itself. But on Mac OS, the shell program is slash bin slash zsh for Z shell. This is the newer version on uh, Mac OS, I believe Catalina 10.15 switched over to using Z shell, which is very similar to the previous program that it used, which Ubuntu Linux still uses. Uh, that program is bash, which stands for born again shell. Uh, it's located at slash bin slash bash. Now, due to the uh, different histories of these operating systems, Windows has a shell that's named command prompt, and then these other two programs are often called terminals. Mac OS is usually fairly similar to different distributions of Linux, but Windows can be uh, slightly different from these other two. But we'll cover those differences in this lesson. Now first, let's learn how to open up a terminal window on all three of the major operating systems. On Windows, you can press the Windows key or press the Start button, and that will pop up with the Start menu, and you can just start typing out Command Prompt, and you'll see it pop up here. The program itself is called Command Prompt, and when I do that, you'll see the window pop up on your screen, ready for commands to be entered right here. On Mac, it's going to look like uh, clicking on the spotlight icon in the upper right and then typing in terminal. And so it'll look something like this and then you can run the program from there. Similarly, a uh, command line interface program will, op will open up. And then on Ubuntu Linux, you can press the Windows key to open up Dash and you can also start typing terminal and just press enter or click on the terminal button and that will also bring up a new terminal window. It's kind of nice on Linux, you can also hit the keyboard shortcut command alt T and that will also instantly pop up a new terminal window. You can open up as many of these as you want. Now, once you have a command line uh, window open or a terminal window open as it's also called, you can start running programs. Now, for example, on Windows, I'm going to enter calc.exe and that's going to open up and uh, run the calculator program. I can just run this as many times as I want and just keep opening up more and more calculator programs. 
Uh, Mac OS and Linux also have their own calculator programs. Uh, on Mac OS, you would type open a calculator, note the uh, capital C in calculator there, and that will run Mac's calculator program, and then on Linux you can enter gnome-calculator, and this will run the calculator program that comes with Linux. Now on Linux, commands are case sensitive, so you do have to enter all lowercase letters when you run GNOME Calculator. Uh, Windows and Mac are a bit more forgiving. You can type uh, these commands in uppercase letters and the program will run just fine. Now in the next few lessons we're going to be learning even more commands and also how to run our Python programs from the command line and a few different terminal tricks to make using the command line a lot easier and faster.